Welcome to the Art of Mark Strains, part 14. Tonight we're back at the shelf that holds the S3 locomotives, and this time we're going to talk about the Mark's Bay Window Caboose. And right at the top you see the Allstate and Orange, the Green Western Pacific, the Red Santa Fe, the Tuscan Rock Island, the blue Allstate, and down on the bottom is the red Union Pacific, or Tuscan. All right, let's get them over to the counter and take a look. Over at the counter, I have the bay window cabooses laid out, and there were six uh, original Marks bay window cabooses. Uh, beginning in about 1957 with the green Western Pacific. It's got yellow lettering. It's number 643. And notice they all have a radio antenna and a smokestack. Quite often when you get these, they're broken off, but fortunately you can get reproductions. There's a little slot in the back for the metal handrail, and the metal handrail is connected to the sheet metal base. Trucks are held on by rivets. Uh, most have the deluxe Type F trucks, although you'll see in just a moment that uh, some came with Style G. Front doesn't have a ladder, but it does have a handrail, tilt couplers, uh, die cast wheels. It is a deluxe car, and uh, I think they're quite nice. They're a little bit squatty, I suppose, um, short, but uh, I really like them. Uh, next on the counter is the blue Allstate with white letters. It's kind of a turquoise blue. And then the uh, 3824 Union Pacific. red and the Santa Fe 2225 is radio equipped on the bay there red and the Rock Islands more of a Tuscan and uh, its number is 17858 notice that these two have style G trucks and then last is the orange Allstate the orange and the blue Allstates uh, were uh, I believe numbered 2225, just like the Santa Fe. So there you have the six. And uh, K-Line kept the line going and uh, came out with several renditions of the Marks mold. And uh, I've converted the top two here to Marks trucks. They uh, have plastic bases, which I left. And I just uh, screwed on some Mark's trucks uh, so that I could leave the light uh, inside. So interior lighting on these two. Uh, this one has window glazing. This one does not. But it really makes for a nice variation and uh, real good looking cabooses. The handrails are plastic and uh, they're pretty chintzy on the front especially. But they look good. And then the B&O, I think, is pretty sharp. Uh, they have a dark blue uh, with white lettering. Uh, this one did not come with any uh, lighting, but it has a place for it. And uh, it's got knuckle couplers. I believe that the Santa Fe above it actually came with S-gauge trucks, uh, as a few of them did there at the, the end of K-Line production. And over here we have another Baltimore, Ohio. This one's red with uh, yellow lettering, and it's really nice looking. It's got sprung trucks, knuckle couplers, lighting, uh, but no window glazing. And then last, I've got this uh, uh, olive drab army caboose. It does have window glazing. It's got lights, got whirly wheels. Um, it comes 
stock with a scale coupler, kind of like a KD, uh, but it comes also in the box with a, a larger knuckle coupler, you know, Lionel style. Uh, so there's five variations from K-Line, and then the six original marks. Let's put them on the track. Okay, it wouldn't be much of a video if we didn't run a train. So let's run all six of the Mark's uh, original bay window cabooses. Thanks again for watching another edition of The Art of Mark Strains. Hope you enjoyed. And there's the K-Line versions.